Today I've put together a budget routine that I think is incredible. It's perfectly effective, the products are fantastic, and it checks every single box. The other thing that I'm gonna do is I am gonna share some extras. So once you have your basic routine, if you are somebody who wants to add in a moisturizing serum, or if you need extra hydration, or you want a little bit of extra brightening, there are things that you can add in that are budget friendly that I will include at the end of the video. As always, the deal with this, in my opinion, is there is so much hype out there around expensive medical grade products. And while I like lots and lots of things that are medical grade or are expensive, I 100% firmly believe in my soul that you can have a really amazing, effective skincare routine at a budget-friendly price, 100%. You do not have to be wealthy to have fantastic skin. Okay, so I wanna get right into it. We are gonna start with cleansing. Number one, if you like to pre-cleanse, Bioderma. I shared this last week in my video or two weeks ago in my video. This is so great because it's a multitasker. So you get a lot of bang for your buck with this one. It's around $13, it lasts a really long time. You can use this to pre-cleanse, to loosen up sunscreen, to you know loosen up makeup, dirt, debris, all of the stuff and then you go in with your cleanser afterwards. You can also use this as your only cleanse in the morning. If you like to refresh in the morning you know, from the things that you had on overnight, some people do, some people don't. A micellar water is great for that as well. My cells in micellar water kind of are like magnets. They attract the dirt, debris, etc., to them, and then you just kind of whisk it away. I still do think that if you are using this to remove your sunscreen, your makeup, and all that other stuff, you still need a regular cleanser after. This isn't, in my opinion, the only thing that you should use. The cleanser that I'm gonna recommend is my favorite cleanser, hands down, that I've been using for quite a long time since it launched. It's the prequel Glenzer. You're gonna see a lot of prequel in this video today. This is definitely not sponsored by prequel, but what it is is Dr. Sam Ellis has actually put out a bunch of products at really affordable prices and they're ginormous. So they fit really well into an affordable routine. The thing that I want you to recognize with this that you probably do is that these are so big, you have to look at it price per ounce versus how much is the product itself. I think this is $18, which by dollar standards is actually pretty expensive for a cleanser, if you ask me. You do not need to spend $18 on a cleanser. But when said cleanser is 13 and a half ounces, that's about you know one and a half times a large normal cleanser from another brand. This is heavily weighted with glycerin. Glycerin is a humectant. This is going to keep your skin just very balanced. It is going to clean your skin, but it's not gonna strip your skin. This is good to wash your hands. This is good to wash your body. This is obviously great as a second cleanse. It's good as a single cleanse. This is good for all skin types. Let's talk about the nighttime routine. So that's your double cleanse at night. The most important property or piece of a nighttime routine is going to be your vitamin A. So in my opinion, this is where we're gonna put the majority of our dollars, right? Okay, so I'm going to recommend as the budget option, the Naturium Retinaldehyde. Now the reason for that is this is 28 bucks, I believe. There's discounts everywhere for Naturium. I have a discount code where you get 15% off. Other people have those codes. There's sales that happen. So you don't ever really have to pay the actual $28, depending on where you find the sale, right? So this gets down to under $25. This is worth every single penny, and it is your heavy hitter. It is your active. It is the one that's going to create change in your skin. So this is in your budget routine, in my opinion, where you wanna put your dollars. That's really where you want to invest your dollars as far as your active is concerned. So retinaldehyde, if you don't know, is a vitamin A derivative. It is one step down from a, an active retinoid. So that would be 
Retin-A or Tretinoin. So retinaldehyde requires one single conversion in your skin to become active. And as it becomes active, that's when the skin is able to use it to help with hyperpigmentation, to stimulate collagen, to help to thicken the dermis, to do all the wonderful things that vitamin A can do. So this one does come in a 0.05 and it comes in a 0.1. The 0.05 is the lower version, so that's the one that I would recommend most people start with if you've never used a vitamin A and graduate on up to the point one when you feel like you can. This is like a gel cream. It spreads really, really easily. You do not need a lot and a tube lasts a really long time. So that is your vitamin A at night. Now, otherwise at night, you might want a moisturizer. My pick for moisturizer in this budget routine is gonna be the prequel. This is their, what are they calling it? Urea Advanced Re Relief, 10% Urea Moisturizing Milk for Face and Body. Once again, the deal with this is, I wanna say it's like $22 or something, but again, it is 13 and a half ounces. It is huge. The amount of product that you get, price per ounce, is insane. The prequel has urea in it. I have been singing the praises of urea for years and years and years. I think it was probably six years ago that I talked about the Sukiyaka Suhada Urea Moisture Essence on this channel. I mean, a long time ago. I actually found that product in an Asian market here in Portland and started sharing about it before anybody else was talking about that. And I think about that sometime and it's kind of funny because I'm like, I literally was perusing the aisles in an Asian grocery store found that Sukiyaka Suhada, and I swear I see so many people talking about it now because it's such a wonderful moisturizing essence, and the reason why it's so wonderful is because it has urea in it. Now, urea is a humectant, and it is a very tiny molecule, and it's able to penetrate the skin, and it delivers that humectant a little bit deeper because of its small molecular size, and it also stays in the skin and hydrates a little bit longer. So you get more hydration, you get deeper penetration, and you get longer lasting hydration. So this one has that urea in it. I love the fact that you can use this on your face and your body. So if you are interested in a really simple, budget-friendly routine, you've got your face and your body moisturizer all in one. It is really, really beautiful, so good for the budget, and a, a gorgeous formula. So that's the prequel moisturizer. Now you can use this morning and night. It is perfect for both, and I love it. I absolutely love it. But that's it. That is your nighttime routine, and it is super effective. Cleanse, vitamin A, moisturize. That is it, okay? Now, when we're going to the AM, that's when you might like to freshen up with your Bioderma or whatever micellar water you choose. You may wanna just cleanse your skin. This is so great in the morning to cleanse your skin. If you are somebody who likes to do that, this works for that. So you don't need a separate or different cleanser for morning and night. None of these work for both. So your routine stays concise and that helps with the budget element, of course. I really do think that exfoliation, chemical exfoliation is key to having really nice, even toned skin, helping with hyperpigmentation, helping with texture, helping with pores, all of that stuff. So a really great recommendation that is budget friendly is going to be the Minimalist. This is their polyhydroxy acid 3%. Looks like this. Here's the deal. I just discovered this entire brand recently and they are so affordable. Highly recommend you check them out. This was 10 bucks. I ordered this off of Amazon. It's fantastic. And it is $10. And this one is, I need my glasses. I really do need my glasses, but there's windows everywhere and all you would see is the windows in the reflection. It is polyhydroxy acids, so PHAs. That means that they are, they're kind of like a relative of alpha hydroxy acids. They help to loosen up the glue that holds dead skin together. The cool thing about um, polyhydroxy acids is they do not make you more sensitive to the sun, but they do a really excellent job of improving hyperpigmentation, improving overall tone, and also improving texture. So if you are somebody who has been looking for a great chemical exfoliant, I know that a lot of people like the glycolic acid toner from The Ordinary. That one is super inexpensive as well. This one is a great option. 
there are several. You don't have to spend a ton of money on a chemical exfoliant. So this would be my choice for a budget routine. Then we want some antioxidant protection in the morning, preferably vitamin C. Lots of people can choose other, but in this routine that I think will check all the boxes, I'm going with vitamin C. The vitamin C that I'm gonna recommend to you today is the prequel vitamin C. This is so good, and I'm gonna tell you why. It is budget friendly, it's $23. That's actually on the high end of a budget you know, cost, if you ask me, because it's one ounce. But it is really, really a beautiful formula. First of all, it's L-ascorbic acid at 15%. L-ascorbic acid is the type of vitamin C that is proven to be effective, okay? This also has ergothionine, probably mispronouncing that. I hear it in my head, but I always say it wrong. Ergothionine, maybe? Anyway, that is another antioxidant that is so fantastic for helping to get an even tone, and it also helps with, obviously, protecting against free radicals, but it also helps to repair cells that are already getting irradiated from UV. So it's like actively working. Like have you ever seen when a honeybee gets dipped in honey and all of the other bees come over and they like help that bee like get out of all the honey so that it can live? That's kind of ergothionine. It can go to the cells that are getting irradiated and are getting harmed and it helps them to repair so they don't end up damaged, so that they end up having a better cellular life, which equates to just better skin, right? And healthier skin. The other thing about this prequel that I think is worth those dollars, even though that is high, $23 is on the high end of budget, I know that. But I think that where you invest your money in this routine is in your actives, in your vitamin A, in your vitamin C, in the things that are gonna to help to affect cellular change, that are gonna actually do something for your skin. Your moisturizers and stuff like that, to me, your cleansers, yeah, you want those to be good, of course, but those are the things where I feel like we can save our money and then we splurge on the budget scale on the actives, the things that are gonna actually affect change. So that is what this is gonna do. Not to mention that the packaging is so thoughtful. It is in a pump, which I appreciate. It pumps out the exact amount that you want to pat into your skin. And it's also in opaque dark packaging to help to keep that incredibly non-stable ingredient last a little bit longer. So just knocked it out of the park on this one as well. So. We're gonna cleanse if we want to, we're going to exfoliate if we want to, and then we're going to vitamin C. After the vitamin C, I usually like to let it just set for a little while. Um, I just like to give it a little bit of time to do a little bit of work. And then we are going to moisturize if we want to, and we can use the same moisturizer, and then we're gonna use some sunscreen. And that's our whole routine. Now, for sunscreens, I have a few to recommend to you. Number one is one called Skin Aqua. I have used this sunscreen for so many years. It is super duper affordable. It is a kind of like a gel cream. It's gonna look like a cream in the camera but it's really like a gel cream and it disappears into the skin and it leaves the skin really, really lightly hydrated, but it almost disappears. This is such a beautiful sunscreen and it is somewhere around 10 bucks and I love it. If you are somebody who has, um, if you are combination skin, if you're oily, if you're acne prone, you may really, really like this one a lot. I'm dry and dehydrated and I absolutely love it, especially in the summertime. The final one would be a tinted sunscreen. Now, this one is $28, so that's actually outside of a budget cost, if you ask me, but there are always, always discounts on this one that will always take it down $6 or so. So it lands in that around $20 mark too, and that is the Dermatology Universal Tinted Moisturizer. I'm including this one because it's my favorite forever, and I feel like the cost of that is justifiable in a budget routine. It's not $40, $50, $60, dollars, which those sunscreens exist. This one is tinted. It doesn't leave a white cast. It leaves this beautiful, sheer, uh, kind of primer-like texture on the skin. I love it. So if you are somebody who has 
dry skin, dehydrated skin, if you like luminosity, if you like dewiness, if you like a tinted sunscreen, you might like this one. And again, yes, the price is, in my opinion, higher than budget. $28 is not budget, but because you can always get a discount, always. You never ever pay full price for dermatology. This one is gonna be $22 or so. And then they do run sales a couple times a year where you can get 30% off taking this down under 20 bucks. It is worth the, the money 100%. Now I mentioned that I was going to let you know about a few um, additive things if you are somebody who likes to add in serums, if you like the extra stuff, because otherwise that routine right there is perfection. So here's a couple additive things. If you are somebody who really wants to add in a hydrating serum because you need just a little bit of extra help, e.l.f. has one that is called Triple Bounce Serum. I actually picked this up because it contains castor oil in it. It's, um, I think it's hydrolyzed castor seed oil or hydro, I can't remember, but uh, of course, again, I'll have the ingredients up on the screen. This is such a beautiful humectant serum. It is around 12 bucks and I'm telling you, it is beautiful. E.L.F. is actually pretty incredible. Uh, they have some incredible products out there. This reminds me quite a bit, you guys. I have a, a really expensive serum from Epicutus. This reminds me so much of that serum. It's just a multi-molecular weight hyaluronic acid serum. So it's lots and lots of humectants, plus it has some other beautiful humectants in there. So if you are somebody who needs just a little bit more hydration, you like serums, that's an excellent choice at a budget-friendly price. 12 bucks, you can't beat that. I think it's an ounce. And it's called Holy Hydration. Really knocked my socks off with this one. A couple others that are perennial favorites, I've loved these forever, is the Beta Glucan Power Moisture Serum from iUnique. I've been recommending this for years, probably five years now. Beta Glucan is an amazing humectant and if you're somebody who is over hyaluronic acid, you don't like it, you don't wanna use it, you think it's in everything, beta-glucan is such a great swap to do instead of hyaluronic acid. So if you're like, I don't want a bunch of hyaluronic acid, this one is gorgeous. So it's beta-glucan, which is going to be soothing to the skin and hydrating to the skin. And then it's sodium PCA, which is another beautiful humectant as well. This bottle is large too, it is, 1.7 ounces and it's definitely budget friendly. This is one of my all time favorite products and it doesn't matter that it is super duper affordable. I always have this in my arsenal, always. Beta glucan is one of those ingredients to me that is such a staple and is so good because it's so soothing, calms down redness, helps with hydration, and it's just a beautiful humectant alternative to hyaluronic acid. So that is the iUnique uh, Beta Glucan Power Moisture Serum. So either one of these would be really great to add in if you need a little bit more hydration. The last one that I'm gonna recommend, if you want to add in a serum and you just want a serum in the mix here, because I know a lot of people like to have a serum kind of sandwiched in between their cleanser and their moisturizer, the Isentry TW Real Bifida Ampule. I've also been recommending this for years and years and years. I love Bifida. Bifida is the star ingredient in Estee Lauder's uh, Advanced Night Repair. And Bifida is also kind of one of those sneaky little DNA repair type of products. Now, it's not DNA repair like DNA repair enzymes. What Bifida does is it helps to kind of provide cover for our body to do the DNA repair itself more effectively. It is kind of like a security guard helping uh, to stave off the stuff like UV so that our body can repair itself well. Bifida is so good for brightening the skin, for hydrating the skin, and then also for helping protect against uh, UV damage and helping our body to repair itself after it's already been damaged by UV. So if you are somebody who likes the idea of getting a brightening, hydrating, UV protecting, kind of DNA repair type of serum in, this is a, a long, long, long time recommendation. And again, it is in the budget realm, it's budget friendly, and it has been one of those things, I will grab this 
over and over and over. And I never even think, oh, it's budget, it might not be as good. No, it is as good as its high-end counterparts. Again, I like some of the expensive stuff. I really do. I have some favorites that I hate to admit are really expensive, but I have some really great favorites that are really affordable. And I 100% want to reiterate that do not let anyone tell you that you must have the expensive stuff to have great skin. You mustn't. You don't have to at all. You can have fantastic skin and retain your budget, spend your money elsewhere, or whatever you wanna do, you don't have to spend it all on expensive skincare. That is for sure. If you want to, that's awesome too, but you don't have to. All right, you guys, I hope this was helpful. Let me know down below if you have any questions. If you want any other substitutes, if you want any other ideas or product recommendations, if you want to hear different cleansers or different moisturizers or different serums, etc., I have a ton in my head and I'm happy to help you get other alternatives. Uh, this is meant to encourage you to develop a routine that is affordable so that you can be consistent, so that you can afford to repurchase things, so that you can use them for a long time. And that is how ultimately you will see the skin changes that you want to see. And you'll be able to protect your skin and you'll be able to love your skin. I hope you have a really wonderful day and I'll talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care.